This is the reference image which you input and the result from your input image. This is just one of the many things you can do with Shaker AI. This is Shaker AI which you can access through a browser and its home screen. On the left you can see AI generator, clicking on it gets you into this canvas. You may see limited options here now but this is very versatile with a ton of tools to work with. Straight away here I will upload the reference image from my computer storage. With a prompt to create a stunning portrait of a young woman and the model set to default. Here the image reference set to line art which basically recolors from the reference image and hit generate and the result here. This is how easy it is. We'll go into little more detailed into how Shaker AI works now. Create eye-catching images with the text to image AI generator. Just key the words and it has auto suggestions too. Right now in the default model, set the image size here, clicking generate. This takes a few seconds but this output is quite cinematic even in the default model. See all the details in the background with fantastic lighting on the subject. Now to upscale, click on the upscale button, set the upscale size. This supports up to 4K at present. Again this happens in the same canvas, will take some time to get the result. The file size is very big and the details look incredible. Creating one more here, an interesting take on Formula 1 race in a tropical setting, here it is. Now I will change the reference model for this. Under the model you can select extra LoRa from the options. Selecting these and you get this output which looks stunning and so natural. The upscaled image here. You can also delete these from canvas if you think it is cluttered. You can always click on history where you can find all your edits and other images. So no chance of losing this. Here I have taken one reference image from the gallery and a fine art and keyed a prompt here about a medieval battlefield with knights. Here you can see the battlefield under the original structure from the image. Adding an image from the gallery here for reference. Under reference dimensions, you can choose a different kind of references from the image including line art, composition, pose and color. Under composition, I'm gonna choose depth mode. As you can see, it references the main subject with the background as depth. Now with this prompt, you get this result with subject leaning on the chair in a winter setting. The higher resolution version here with a lot of details in the image. Other main features include in-paint which can be used to effortlessly replace objects, blemishes or distractions resulting in perfect images. Remix stores all the generation information of an image and remixes a series of similar images. Other than this, you have the basic AI tools also to start you going. First, I'll open an image for editing. This imports the image to the canvas. At the top with these options, first I'm gonna try removing the background. Just need to click and here's the result in a few seconds. I have this image of a butterfly. We'll click on the smart remove function and show how this works. With the lasso tool, just need to draw a line around the object. This not only removes the butterfly here, but also autofills it using AI. You can also use the rectangle marquee tool to remove the objects. The options here are quite detailed and you can access on how these work in tutorial section for a handy guide. You can try this for free right now. Links in the video description. Hope this video was useful to you all and subscribe for more. Thanks for watching.